Hi guys, Jerry O'Neill here, Wood Castle Decorating. So, I'm on a whole sturgeon album here. And uh, basically, I'm going to hang the longest strip on this wall here. So, when you're doing paper hanging, you always do the longest strip first. And uh, it can be the most awkward one. This is a paste of wall paper. And so, what I'm going to do is Place this wall for you, hang the, hang the strip, and uh, just basically show you what, what, how to go about doing it. I have a new cameraman here today, by the way, so he better do a good job. He's called Mark, and uh, he's off the brush for about 15 minutes here till I get this paper on. Right? So, look, here we go, these walls are cross lined. Um, I've done a video on all this panel wood here at the weekend, as you can see. So I'm putting this paper on. These walls, by the way, were cross lined a couple of years ago, and the customer, um, it's taken their this length of time to pick the paper for this. So, Mark, if you can just get that line of paper in the background, you can see where the at the pictures here. We're told this color here, but as I say, it's all perfect. The walls are all sanded, prepared, cross lined, nice smooth finish. So, obviously, as always, your first strip, you have a, you mark a, your spurt level here. This paper's 27 inches wide, by the way. It's, your normal wall paper's about 20, 20 and a half inches. And it's a, a turnover first paper. So basically, your first strip goes down this way, the next one goes upside down. That's how you, um, basically, that's it. So, I'm going to paste the wall here. You can see where I've already started. Using a ready mix adhesive. Make sure you put plenty on. Especially up into this edge here, you know, where you, where you have to cut your paper. Now, I'm bringing the paper around to here, around to this corner here, as I have to go down this wall. So, I'm bringing it between this hand wheel here. If this corner is running off, um, obviously I need this paper to be running straight in this wall. So if this corner is running off, I may have to overlap it and splice it and make sure this strip here is straight. Okay? So, plenty of glue in there now. You're making me find out this one. <laughs> <laughs> Right, Mark, do you move around there? Just where I'm going to be pacing down here. And the side here. Right, so it's again, the paper's going to be getting thrown. Put plenty on, don't be shy with it. And as you always hear me say when I'm hanging wallpaper, make sure you have a clean bucket of water. Uh, this is expensive wallpaper. After you hang it, you have to wash down any excess paste on it. So you can see the paste going on the layer of paper there. Just bring it in the past the line there. We have marked for mark the, the spurt level there. You need to be pretty quick hanging this paper because this glue does go off pretty quickly. So uh, I'll just grab the roller here. And again, see whenever you're rolling it with the edge of the paper, don't put, put plenty of paste on the line there where your edge is going to go. Make sure you give it an even finish. Okay. You 
you can see, or uh, we'll put all of that line in here back. Also remember, seeing you're putting the paste on the wall, make sure every bit's covered. Just paste the wallpaper. If there's a wee dry bit, uh, it causes a, a, the, uh, a bubble in the paper. If there's a wee dry patch, so make sure every area is covered. Take another meat that part, and that'll be it. How are you doing, cameraman? <laughs> oh, good. Doing good, yeah. Good. Please do for doing this. Uh, you're, you're paying me double. Double pay. Right, so that's it all. Pace it. Straightforward. The paper is here. So whenever you're doing this alternative uh, wallpaper, always mark it, you know, so I have it here for the top. Okay, the next strip basically, so I just basically mark B, so it's upside down, you know. Right, make sure I've got everything. Straight edge for trimming. Spatula for smoothing the paper out. Scissors. Seam ruler, Stanley knife. I think that's everything. Right, let's go. See how we get on with this here. Hope I haven't measured this sheet short more. <laughs> <laughs> that's all I need. That wouldn't be good. I'll have to start again, Kev. Big, big red there, <laughs> You always allow a couple of inches excess at the top and the bottom. Uh, this measurement was 155 inches in length. Okay, so just bring a couple of inches over your picture reel there and just slide it into the station. So where's your where's your straight edge there, okay? Very, very important. To make sure your first sheet is perfectly straight in every wall. You know, it has to be, you know, uh, so the rest of it flows in. Okay, just place it on the wall with your hand. Let's smoothen it out. That's basically it. And just smooth it out. You can just see here now where the wee hand wheel is. So I need to cut a wee piece off here to bring it round. Just mark it like that. Get your scissor into the wee corner and trim it. And whenever you're doing this, get, get the paper on first before you do any trimming. As I say, you know, you don't want this paste uh, drying. Get it all on first and then do the trimming. 
Is that their nail marks not too short? Okay, Ka. Okay. Okay, okay, Ka. Okay. 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 Do you know he calls me Kit, by the way? <laughs> I'm 20 years old. <laughs> okay, okay, Ka. <Kat. laughs> Make sure the water bubbles in it, you know, with this. Because whenever this piece of wallpaper dries, something come out of it, you know, these bubbles here, see there? So make sure they're all out. Just tuck it into the corner where you want to trim it. First time I did measure a full length of paper <laughs> and I brought it down and it was short. You can see there, look, there's a couple of wee, you can cut around this wee piece here as well. So, just trim it into the point there, like that. There we go. And that's all ready to trim, basically. Take those bubbles out of it there. Um, took a wee way to get this paper and this colour, you know, for the two of them to match, you know, and uh, I think she's done a good job. Two colours go very well together. What do you think, Mark? Yep, very yeah. nice, girl. There he goes again, kid. <laughs> That's the way we talk in Belfast, by the way. <laughs> right, I'll go up, up to the top here now and trim this. Bring a sponge up for me as well. As I say, a clean bucket of water, lukewarm water, nice and clean, and change it regular, you know. Just give it just a wee wake down. It's, it is pretty clean, but just in case it's the only bit of case on it. Just wrap that wee bit round there, right? Oh, there's just a wee line of paste in there, right? So that's, I can do that when I get this all done. Because I forgot to put paste in there. <laughs> 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 that was intense. <laughs> <laughs> Don't admit to it. Just have to admit when I'm wrong. Right, so there you go. Just turn along the top of your picture wheel here. Tuck your straight edge up nice and tight. Good sharp blade. You always get a bit of taste in this here, so just clean it off. Right? And then turn around this here. Just take your time to run these wee hand nails. Right 
To be honest with you, it is the trimming that's a hard. That's even down these wee bits here. You do need to be careful. You know. Just take your time. As I say, the secret is take your time. Especially if you're working with paper like this here, you know, this is uh, expensive wallpaper, so you can't really afford to, you know. Yes, you have to get it on reasonably quick, but just get that right balance, you know, get it on and then take your time as you're doing the trimming. Tape your fingers there. Same thing with the ends there. Make sure it's it's not loose. And plenty of paste in there. That's why I always say put plenty of paste in the these corners here. That's by the way when I'm doing these videos that I don't cut. A while ago uh, somebody sent me a comment and says uh, you're cutting enough on that. And I sent him a comment back to say I think I'll cut more, you know. So it's very sad like, when you get people like that, isn't it? You know, they think they have nothing bad in it, you listen to your father. So if you hear me cutting. Don't worry about it. <laughs> I'm doing fine. <laughs> there you go. You can see it's taking a wee bit of shape here. Just get this wee edge cut here. Get your straight edge right down to the bottom or so what you're better doing, bring it in as bring it down as much as you can, right? With a blade. Put it away and just cut up your scissors up on the other edge here. And just these couple of wee bits here at the bottom. to do now is get the sponge and just give this a wee wipe down here. Here we have real large, it's getting another wee coat of uh, varnish. So. 
I want to normally say he was there before the paper goes on, but it'll be all right. Yep, looking well, Kerr. Looking well, Kerr. Oh, aye. There you are, now. Now, the only thing I need to do is put this a few bit up in the corner here. As you can see, I just need to wrap that around this wee edge. Make sure you push that round tight. Just trim it top and bottom. Simple as that. Right, so now, the reason why I brought it around here, uh, as I say, I'll get my spirit level. If that's straight, I just let it flow across that wall there. We'll have to get the radiator off as well before we do this wall. So, put the, your level on the edge of it, make sure it's straight. Okay. There you go. I'll bubble in the middle there, Mark. <laughs> 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 That's why I've got my glasses on. <laughs> Perfectly straight. It's only when I just put your level under the edge here like that. Yep, that's a perfectly straight edge. So, I can use that edge to run the paper on through here. Right, so where you have it. That's the longest strip one. And, uh, you bring it around here, Mark. So you can see that wasn't too bad. Now it was handy enough to put on. So let's see, it's taken three strips into this corner here. Uh, so the next strip, as I say, it goes upside down, and the one after that goes a straight way up. And that's way up behind this paper, as I say. So anyway, any questions you just want about hanging this table wall paper or paper in a hall stars and all, you know. I say you always better do the longest length first on, on, the, on the landing here. So anyway, thanks for watching guys. Any questions, here's usual, get back to me. Cheers now.